What's up guys? So in this video, sometimes you run into test testing that you require a fuse jumper. Uh not everybody has one or not everybody has a fusible link, but you know, a good good percentage of us always have a spade connector and some wire laying around. So here I'm going to show you how to build a decent, pretty, you know, good quality uh fuse jumper but at the same time you could just crimp it and go ahead and do your testing when you're under pressure and you got to do it quick man but all you're going to need here is some banana jacks spade connectors and about two pieces of five inch wire and in this case i wanted to add solder into my joints so I can make sure I'm always making a connection. Again, it's going to be testing equipment. So, you know, you start off by stripping your wire. And I'm going to install my spade connectors first. The order doesn't matter as long as you get them on there, guys. So I crimp them on. And then you want two of these. Spade connector on one side, banana jack, or just the wire on the other. And in this case, these banana jacks came with a rubber cover, so that's what I'm slipping on right now. And then before putting my banana jacks, I like to tint the wire to make sure all the wires are touching. So when I insert it into the banana jack and compress the screw it has in there, it'll I know for sure, you know, it's all making contact and I have less resistance. So it shouldn't affect my testing. That's the only reason I use the soldering method. And then I solder where I crimp the spade connector, the female spade connectors. See, there's a wire tint. And there's where I solder the spade connector. You know, it's a testing equipment that i'm building i typically want it to be pretty okay you know or last me a little longer than normal and there you go that's the banana jack and in this case these you just you know put it in and then screw it And this way I know I have a solid, more surface area when I compress the screw it has in there. And you need two of these. See, and then I put the shrink wrap and then the fuse before I solder the, I mean, before I shrink the the wrap. I like to use a shrink wrap that has the, uh, the little uh, glue inside of it so it'll seal better and, you know, longer, longer lasting. But yeah, guys, straightforward. And then sometimes they do sell the fuse jumpers already and then all you got to do if you want to be able to use your flex probes or you know be able to stick it straight into your meter that's that's the purpose of the banana jacks it makes it more efficient and you know better way of testing and then if you're able to use your flex probes you'll be able to uh not damage the connector pin because pin fit matters so that's the one i made but uh i'll show you the ones that see look previously made flex probe so I don't damage the connector. But uh, on the ones that come pre-made, I mean, there's some fusible links that come pre-made. And I just had the banana connectors or banana jacks so I could, uh, see, there you go, pre-made one. 
that's all you need guys hope this video helps you uh and expand your <laughs> arsenal of uh testing equipment on a budget man laters have a good one